people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now the first thing that is popping in the news is about some evil wicked family members that live overseas. And instead of helping their family back in Jamaica, they are exploiting them. They are enslaving them. They are taking advantage of them. They are A-B-U-S-I-N-G them. Them are traffic them. Rete, Lele, Blue, Blah, Blend. Now, people, the story that I am speaking about is an incident that occurred November of 2020 in the Cayman. However, it was being investigated and the case just come to court. Story come to bump. I am speaking about some people that live in a Cayman Island. 59-year-old Lorraine Smith and their 42-year-old son and his name is Anthony Jackson. Now, based on the court, it is said that they were charged for trafficking, enslaving, and A-B-U-S-I-N-G, a 12-year-old boy from Jamaica. Based on the court documentation, it is said that they spoke to the mother, the parents, the guardians of this 12-year-old youth. And they said that they were going to look out for the family. Make sure so the youth have a better life because I guess life is rough in a Jamaica. He can make a better way. They are in situation, in the situation financially where, where they can assist this youth. Better education, everything for the family. So of course the family agreed because who does not want better for their kids, for their family on a whole. Especially if you are in a situation that is dire desperate situation you would want to elevate or at least see your son elevate which would lead to the trickle down effect he can get some sort of education and hopefully helps himself and help the family in the long run so anyways they brought this youth last year 2020 they did not register him for school and while he was there based on the court documentation it is said that they had him doing all sorts of domestic work, a cook, a clean, a wash, helper kind of stuff. And people, nothing is wrong with a child being responsible. However, you as a mother, Mrs. Smith, 59 year old, and your son, 42, between none of you guys, nobody saw that something was wrong. It did not dawn on any one of these two adults that something is definitely wrong. This youth is only 12 years old. And based on the promises that we made for a better life, you are taking him from a dire situation to even a worse a situation in a Cayman, a better place. So people, me just as I said, they made promises and they had no intention of fulfilling those promises. Now people, first thing first, 2021 second thing your own family or somebody that you knew because i could only come to the assumption that nobody that is not known to you a stranger would not take up their child and send with some stranger so people i am only assuming that these are family members the court documentation or the paper did not say i am only assuming based upon common sense so people, based on the information, it is said that this case was brought to the Cayman courts of November of last year. After the youth run away, him couldn't take it no more. Him run away and he went to the Popo station and they were doing their investigations and they came up with the finding. And it went to court this week and they are supposed to be going back to court tomorrow. So people, first thing first, mothers out there. Don't have children if you cannot afford to keep them. Keep your leg locked. Keep your mouth shut. If you know say, you cannot deal with the ripple effect, the domino effect of having pitney. Don't take your pitney and give them away like post pitney. Me just as say, be responsible. If you are going to have kids, make sure that you can keep kids. You can upkeep, upkeep the pitney them. 
don't give them away and give them away to a situation in which you cannot validate or verify. Now, people, the truth and the fact is that what persons act like on the outside is not always what they are about. So the point that I am trying to make is that if you don't know these persons as good people, you don't know them reputation from Jamaica. Why wouldn't why would you even take a chance and send your picnic to somebody that you don't know? Because obviously you don't know them because obviously they are not what you think. Because obviously they would not do have done what they did. Because it shows that these are some evil and wicked people. So people, the moral of the story is this. Them take this 12 year old. When them supposed to send him to school, them have him lock up in a house. I walk, I clean, I wash, I do all manner of evil. And people, if them do that to the youth, we can only assume that he was also being physically A-B-U-S-E-D. Now people, the truth and the fact is that you have some parents, they are very irresponsible, they are negligent. Because there is no way that you should have let your child left your side. There is no way that you should not have communicated with these parents or even the child and people. The truth and the fact is that sometimes people in a situation and they are so afraid, they are scared that they are not even going to tell you exactly what is going on. But to prevent that, make sure that whenever you have people, you can basically upkeep them. You are there by their side because the truth and the fact is that nobody is going to love your child like you. And if you really love your picnic, you would not just give them out to some sort of stranger because even if this person or these persons were family members, they are actually worse than the stranger them because strangers, most strangers would not do what these people do based on the allegations, based on what is coming from the court. So people may just as say, be very mindful whenever you have kids of who you leave them in the presence of. May I talk about sleepover? I talk about just to go over the fair day. I am speaking about the teacher. I talk about the pastor. I talk about the preacher. I talk about even your own neighbors. You have to be very vigilant. You have to question your picnic. You have to investigate. You have to act like mother fowl when you have a picnic. Because if you don't watch them, then the street, then other strangers are going to take advantage of them. Other people are going to A, B, U, S, E them. Some people may just I say at the end of the day, do what you're supposed to do as a responsible parent because if you don't, other persons are going to violate them. Point blank and peer. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon and also press all in the option. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news. 50-something-year-old man loses his life at the hands of his 28-year-old lover who happens to be a fish cop. Now, based on the information, it is said that Mr. William Duar, information technology specialist, he is believed to be in his 50s. He was taken out yesterday at an apartment, 407 Block C, Oakland apartment, by a young fellow who is reportedly was invited to his room on the premises. Based on the information, it is said that Mr. Duar is an assistant general manager, sales administrator, partner relationship and logistics at management control system limited he is also a director of oakland properties which is the property in which he lost his life and he also wrote a column for the newspaper a couple of years ago now based on the information it is said that this incident occurred at about 2 p.m and it was reported at about 3 p.m the suspect is said to be 28 year old brandon hill and he is from saint andrew and based on a report from the Popo, it is said that the man, Mr. Duar, he was juke juk up in his stomach and his hand. And it is investigated by Sergeant Grant of the Constant Spring CIB. Now, people, like me say, 
The suspect is said to be a cop. He is 28 year old. The man that lost his life, he is said to be in his 50, a top uptown man. He has all sorts of link. He has education. However, people, I don't know exactly what happened. And like I said, this is breaking news, breaking news. I have not heard about anything in the news in the past couple of days. And I am just hearing about this. So therefore, as soon as I get more information, I'll be sure to divulge ASAP. Now, people, when we think about these popo in Jamaica nowadays, is there any law that they won't go? And people, the truth and the fact is that a man is just a man or a fish is just a fish. In this case, some people are going to do whatever. Their emotion, if they are emotionally unstable, they are going to do what? Emotionally unstable people do. So people will see this man, go by the man apartment, he was invited in. So obviously, this man was caught off guard. He was shocked and awe. And he was joke ju up. However, people, he did not make it. Now people, also based on the information, it is said that, like I said before, this incident occurred at 2 o'clock, 2 p.m., and after the man joke up the man, he walked his way to the Constant Spring Paw Paw Station and he turned in himself. So people like me say, this man is supposed to be allegedly some sort of cop. It is a crime of passion. It is a crime of people that are on the same SEX. However, people, we know that Jamaica, it kind of changed right now. And we see that these persons of the fishy tendency, they are very emotionally unstable. And even the street people, them, they basically attack with each other. It seems as if persons, they cannot take any sorts of rejection. And as soon as them feel as if there's any sorts of rejection, them kind of take it to the worst extent. And people, in this case, we say that is the case. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.